Hey guys, welcome to another week of EPTV brought to you by the United States Army. This week's gonna be super fun. We're actually gonna get uh, the Carbon Express Fluful arrows out and we're gonna do a little sh uh, skeet shooting. If you guys have never tried it, it's so fun to get a group of buddies together, a box of skeet, order up some Carbon Express flu flu arrows and you will have an absolute riot. From there, we're gonna join Chris Wolf Sr and his dad, Clarence, as they went on an awesome pheasant hunt, uh, courtesy of a top 10%. They went on a great pheasant hunt. When they were done, they were telling Chris Wolf about it, and they sent him and his dad, Clarence, and they had an absolute riot. So again, thanks for watching EPTV, brought to you by the United States Army. EPTV is brought to you by the United States Army and these other great partners. Lee Lancaster State Farm Insurance, Cabela's, Matthews, Archery Unlimited, Rage, Nocturnal, West Michigan Whitecaps, Scentlock, Buck Fever Synthetics, Horny Buck Seed, Outdoor Edge, Lone Wolf, Arrow Waste, True Fire, IQ Bow Sights, Carbon Express Arrows and Crossbows, Addicts Gear, Bone Fever, Hunter Safety System, Fourth Arrow, Shooter 3D Targets, Tacticam, Daniel Sport Fishing, Tagged Out Outfitters, Finding Your Perfect Hunt, Taxidermy provided by Tall Tines Taxidermy, Website provided by BlueVortex.net. All right, guys, we uh, are out here tonight with the Predator Recurves. So we got Carbon Express arrows and uh, we got the flu flus. And we're gonna have some fun because we got a little bit of pheasant hunt we're gonna do this fall. The best way to practice, ski. We're gonna let them fly. If we can hit a ski. If I hit one, I'm happy. If I hit one tonight, I'll be happy, just one. If I come close Gina's to one, be I'll be happy. Yep. So we got Shane with us, we got Gina. Gina's gonna try to knock one down with her uh, Matthews. But we're gonna we're gonna get throwing and see how it goes. But it's a great night to get outside and should be fun. Let's see if we can do it.
powdered it too. That was fun. Those Carbon Express flu flus are the way to go. Oh yeah. That is a lot of fun. I think the pheasants are in trouble. Oh yeah. Gina and the really Matthews we're and gonna we're gonna have fun. Good job. Well, we're gonna go gather some arrows. is more than a bundle. It's more than a combo deal. It's not just stuff. This is your home, your car, and you want to give them the protection they deserve with home and auto insurance. State Farm agents get it. It's why they're here. Talk to State Farm agent Lee Lancaster today. Get in the red zone. Carbon Express's small diameter Maxima Red SD, taking big game hunting to an all-new level, making other competitors' single-spine arrows obsolete. Patented tri-spine technology controls arrow flight, delivering better downrange energy and accuracy, all in a small diameter shaft. Think you're shooting the best hunting arrow in the game? Think again. Stay in the red zone. Assume nothing and shoot Carbon Express. There's no feeling like it. When you've prepped the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now there's only one thing left to do. It's hook set season. So gear up and start your season at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. I am Frank Russ from Archery Unlimited, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We got all the accessories in stock. Our biggest thing is probably the service work we do on bows. We have archery leagues every night of the week. We're hunters serving hunters, without a doubt. It's the shop that we trust. It's the shop that we've known since we were kids, and now we're passing it down to our kids. Let Archery Unlimited take care of your bows. Let Archery Unlimited take care of you as a hunter. Feel. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> it was incredible. Been there in like half hour.
Well, you've seen our buddies from Top 10 up here a couple weeks ago to the Pheasant Ridge Hunt Club. They were up here shooting some pheasants and they they were nice enough to set me up for a two-man hunt. And uh, I just want to say thanks again, Top 10% for setting me up. And I thought it'd be nobody better besides the man that got me into hunting, my dad. He got me into hunting back before I was even old enough to hunt. I was going in the woods with him at the age of eight, nine years old. And back then we couldn't hunt until 12 with bow and then of course 14 with the gun. But 12 years old, got my first gun. I think I got it Christmas morning. I, don't even, I didn't even finish opening the rest of my presents and I was out in the woods. And uh, ever since then, me and my dad's been best friends and hunting partners. And that's been quite a few years ago, so just want to tell my dad thanks for getting me into the out, great outdoors and we're gonna keep on doing what we do best. So let's get on some birds. If you want to grow a healthy deer herd and big bucks, let's face it, you're going to need to plant a food plot. The success of your season is in the seed. Do you know what you're putting in the ground? Unlike other seeds, here at Horny Buck Seed, we guarantee the freshest, uncoated seed on the market. I've been watching that deer for three years, like, just kill him. Just kill him. <gasps> Look at that giant.
We choose Buck Fever Synthetics and uh, we choose it for many reasons. It never spoils. Rain actually makes the product kick in the gear again and it starts all over again. We've just had nothing but good luck from it. I mean, look at our footage. Look at how the bucks react to it. Buck Fever Synthetics turns your hunting area into a playground for bucks and that will last all year long. So get your Buck Fever Synthetics and visit them at buckfeverusa.com. When it's your child, your hunter safety system takes on a whole new meaning. The new reflective lifeline keeps you secure at all times, even in the darkest woods. Don't worry, Dad. We'll take it from here. Success isn't something that just happens. something that you work towards for 365 days a year. When it comes down to it, there's one piece of equipment that connects you to your bow. Why use anything but the best? True Fire, for professionals, for everyone. It's not quite the uh, September weather we were expecting to get when we got out here. We've got uh, about a foot of snow down here on the ground. We started off uh, below elevation this morning before we started climbing up and uh, just a skiff of snow by the time we got to where we wanted to be. Uh, there's actually a foot out here in this meadow. Uh, it just happened overnight. Yeah, we rode quads in just over 14 miles. Yeah, just over 14 miles and hiked in probably Two to three, maybe three. I don't know, it felt like three. <laughs> it was a long ways in the deep snow, trudging through it, but beautiful out here. Not ideal for, for elk hunting with a bow. They were quiet today. We didn't see any tracks, nothing. You can see what we're dealing with with the amount of snow we got here. <laughs> Very deep. Uh, hopefully we'll, uh, this will all melt off here in the next couple days. It's supposed to rain. And then by the weekend, it's supposed to be back to sunny and nice and Hopefully get out and get them talking here, but tomorrow and the next day I think they're calling for almost an inch of rain per day. So up here that could be a whole lot more snow, so we'll see what we can do. Right now we're just going to probably spend about two and a half, three hours hiking back to the quad. Yeah. Stuff, so. Yeah. Fun, fun.
good. Huh? Ball with his smile on our faces. Right now, we aren't sure. We shot him. We both shot. We actually come back out of a bunch of crap back here. We're 40 yards at tops from the quads, and Jeff threw a bugle out right back here, and we heard it sound like a, a dang cow, beef like cow. beef cow. It just, <laughs> and then it, that was it. And I thought, well, oh, man, that might be actually a bull. And we come up over here, and also I saw a flash of rat coming through. And big, he's a nice big six by six. And he turned and come around this side, and we ended up shooting. Where is that? That down? Yards. 19 yards. We both got down on our knees. We're right here. I mean, the quads are. You can see the quads right there in the background. <laughs> we both got on our knees right here. Unfortunately, yeah. we didn't have the cameras out. Well. Yeah, we didn't have the cameras out because we were at the quads. We didn't think in a million years we'd see an elk right here. We didn't even think it was an elk. We thought it was a dang beef cow that was moving at us or something. And here he comes. But we shot him. We both shot. I shot him quarter and two and hit him right on the corner of the shoulder. Maybe just good, behind it. Good 18, 18 inches. inches of uh, penetration, so pretty confident on it. I told Mike to, to shoot first, and uh, he shoots a back tension. And I shot, so the minute he shot, I punched mine. We did not see where mine hit on it. He wheeled and uh, we heard him crashing for a little ways, but just uh, we're probably going to give it a good hour before we slip in at all and just take a look. Just going in to uh, pick up the blood trail and uh, do giving it an hour. Mike's worried, I'm really not. So we're just going to ease in quiet and cow call as we move along. Graze his ear. Unless you spit up there. Yeah, that's right where I hit him, right there. Yeah. Wow, he's nice, isn't he? Well, Jeff and I hope that you guys enjoyed some of that footage and some of the scenery and and our, our journey and experience in this whole deal with Montana last year. And um, we were definitely blessed with a beautiful bowl that we may not be able to top, but we're gonna definitely give it a try in 2018. And, uh, you know, if anything that you guys take from this, we hope that for those of you who are on the fence about maybe going out and doing that, that elk hunt, you know, that dream elk hunt everybody talks about, it's doable and you guys need to do it. You know, Jeff and I just went on a whim six years ago and just started going out and doing this. And uh, we've been able to take five bulls in six years. You know, we're, we're definitely above the odds. But if you hunt hard and you work hard and you train and you get out there, you know, you're gonna love it. It's absolutely amazing. It's just an experience that you can't understand until you go out and do it yourself. So we hope that you guys liked it and enjoyed some of it and and uh, get out there and get after those bugle and bulls, guys. It's, it's an amazing experience.